Hello, friends and family. I am showing you one of my budget saving tips today. As we know, furniture is taking six months to get. I'm, the same store I'm in, American Signature, is six month, up to six months wait. They said that some stuff you can get in a few weeks. Plus, their delivery fee is $189. And um, waiting six months on furniture is hard. I get it because I did it. So, I, I also, every time I'm in this area, come visit their scratch and dent room. And you find some great bargains back here that you can put together. And you just kind of have to be good, be careful. Examine the furniture thoroughly so that you know what you're taking home before you get it there. And then you don't want to damage it in transit because it's cheaper, like I say, to take it home yourself. But like this little console, $4.99 was $9.49. So 50% off. I don't believe this. This right here, I don't believe that. But that's what they say. So coming back here, a whole room full of furniture ready to take home ready to take home um and I, I like i say i actually got a cabinet here some of these prices for this little odd and end furniture that you may be looking for some of this price is, is cheaper than well than wayfair and again you take it home today so they will load it into your car at no charge and this is a little console desk. That's your style. So they load it in to your car for no charge or your truck or whatever. And all you got to do is get it home. Stuff like this. Also, in these scratch and dent rooms, don't be afraid to ask for an additional $50 to $100 off. They just want it out of here. That thing is very nice. Some stuff is already sold. So not sure what it's sold for. But that looks a little mm, janky. American Signature is like slightly, I was I would rate it around Ashley quality or slightly below. But then I think, you know, Ashley quality is pretty much mid-grade, my personal opinion. Um, but you can also find some deals better than home goods if you buy a lot of consoles and chairs and things like that from home goods then you will find some deals here like that i wouldn't buy white leather but maybe some maybe that's somebody else's lifestyle this they are gonna end up putting that on a dumpster so if you're a dumpster diver start watching a dumpster especially if they want that i wouldn't pay 50 dollars for that but like this little table, 99 was 249. Something simple like that. I would not buy a mattress because nine times out of ten they've been in somebody's house. I would very closely examine the beds to make sure you see no signs of critters. But the other stuff, and I, I would closely examine any piece out of here. Let me tell the truth. I would closely examine any piece, but like the beds the mattresses um make sure they hadn't been in somebody else's home some of it will but the like the cabinet i bought had i believe somebody ordered it got it to their home and it was too big for the space told them to take it right back and the only other thing i noticed is the the doors make noise when you open and close them but that's not a problem for me and it was a 700 and like almost an 800 dollar cabinet and i got it for 300. so i mean if you need some furniture now this is a pretty nice grand bed again examine but it's, it's a nice bed very nice sleigh bed um so again examine it closely and you can even get two men in the truck truck taxis those are around everywhere now so you can get a truck taxi to bring it home for a hundred bucks or something like that or most people kind of need to know somebody with a truck in these times 
but it's a lot of good items here if you need furniture now now see that's a real good price on the chair you would not be able to get this chair in home goods yes ma'am you would not be able to get this chair in home goods for this price if you needed like an accent chair in an entryway so that's a good price so always if you're looking for some accent pieces some nice stands tables things like that check this place out and again don't be afraid to ask for a bigger bigger discount because like this i would not pay oh it's the four four have a lot queen that's the whole bed for 6.99 i would ask for more this is the $1.99 I would, I would probably come in and put me a bundle together and you never know if you don't ask so that's a full size mattress and the box spring <laughs> something like this cart you have a small kitchen this would be nice for extra storage Need a fancy little desk. This is broken, so it's a no. This is rough. Not sure if this won't close. There's no price on it. So see, when I see stuff like this, no price. There's no price on it. What would you pay for it? Oh, I pay one, one hundred dollars, one fifty. Then stop pointing out the flaws. Are the negotiation here? So I would offer them one. Ain't no price on it. They may say yeah. So, you just got to think. So, see this, um, this Charleston Kitchen Island was $7.99, was $12.99. This is what I have the matching buffet for. And yes, it does say Kitchen Island, but they do sell the Kitchen Island and they sell stools. So, this could truly be the table. The kitchen table if you have a space that big and that's why i say this probably went to someone's home and they said oops it doesn't even fit because this is a huge piece of furniture and it even comes with baskets this is a nice piece and i am in jacksonville florida at american signature furniture located on an off atlantic boulevard in the Regency area. So now pictures, you know we get those from Marshall's Home Goods, but they do have some and I say and I, like I said, negotiate. Negotiate. So it's a lot of decent pieces here. I'm not gonna go through all the prices, but as you can see, there's some options. And I always said that furniture, depending on how you take care of it, could be for the curb within five years. But it's all dependent on how you take care of it. So keep that in mind. Most furniture these days is for the curb in five years. Now as far as something to sit on that I'm gonna sit myself on every day, I did buy Lazy Boy again because I have a Lazy Boy set that's about what uh, 18 years old at this point. So I trust their furniture as far as sitting and I don't like to buy recyclable furniture that's gonna end up on the curb. That's not good for the landfills. However, there's a lot of good choices in here as accent pieces. Stuff you're not sitting on, bouncing on, eating on. So, might wanna come check it out if you're looking for 
even the lamps, $45. $45. So you might want to check them out and see if you see anything. Or if you're in the line for patio furniture, they do carry that. And that one set back there is the patio scratch and dent. Um, and even like tables with USBs. That's what I need because even we have them in the new sofa, but it's not enough USB ports for some reason. I'm like, what are we doing? So that's a good, good discount. Very good discount. I would still try them at 125. <laughs> but that's just me. You, I don't, I don't mind. It does not hurt my feelings to hear the word no. So again, that's just me. This is a good. Now this looks good for a child's room. This is a full size bed with the cabinet and the message board. And extra drawers. I wish I'd have seen this. Something would have been available like this when I bought my son's bed. Because this is very nice. This is very nice. I do like this. And it looks like it may have a problem. I can see it without even touching it. With the rolly. Um, with the roll thing. So what I would suggest. You remove it all together. Or you repair it yourself. But the discount is worth it. $13.99, regular price, down to $5.99. So keep that in mind. I mean, it's some good, good deals. Somebody already scooped this one up. Okay, so this is just the mattress that was sold, I'm guessing. The bed is still available. This is pretty for a little girl's room. I don't have a girl, but this is very pretty. It's very pretty. And I don't immediately see any damage. And, oh, and it's pretty sturdy because that's heavy. That's heavy. And you could probably convert that into a trundle if you had two kids. So, I got a little sofa. See, like this one says, cancel. You know, where the heck you gonna put it? But it was a cancel order. So, probably somebody was waiting a six months on it and said, I'll oh, forget it, I found something else, because that's happening a lot. So you can find stuff like that, brand new. Never been in a home. But they gotta get it out of here, because they have no room on the showroom floor for it. So, this is a good technique. If you need furniture in your homes, we may end up chilling back in our home soon. Just keep that in mind so you want it comfortable, so you're not going stir crazy inside. You want to be able to be comfortable, chill out at your home. So if you're trying to get it in order, if you just moved, if you just bought a home, this is the way to do to get it fully furnished. I do thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe if you like this content. And ring that bell for notifications. I do thank you again for watching. Have a great day. And good luck in all you do. Plant a seed, plant a seed, plant a seed. Bye-bye.